Nigeria and every one of us who are Nigerians, we are crying to you specially that we will arise and defend our rulers. Arise and defend those of us who are ruled. We commit all our rulers into your hands. The traditional rulers, the elected rulers, please, Lord, arise and fight for them. We commit every one of us, whatever may be our status in this nation, into your hands today. Please, arise and defend us all. Let it be well with every one of us. Let every one of us today receive a special visitation from you. And Lord, I'm committing all your children who have been faithful in the payment of their tithes and in the giving of their offerings into your hands. This month, embarrass them with your blessings. Open the windows of heaven. Pour in a blessing to them that they will not even be able to contain. And today, Lord God Almighty, everyone listening to us all over the world, as your word is going forth, heal them all. Set the captives free. This very month, Lord God Almighty, make the barren fruitful. Let there be no sorrow this month. For the rest of this year, my Father and my God, let there be no bad news. Help us, O oh Lord. Answer all our prayers. And those of your children who are of marriageable age, you are yet to marry, even before the end of the year, perform a miracle. Those who have been waiting on you for one breakthrough or the other, Lord God Almighty, this very month, answer them all. Even before the sun sets today, Lord, let your children have testimonies. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Ah, uh, shake hands with one or two people and say, Good morning, God, we bless you. <laughs> bless you. And then you may please be seated. I especially want to greet all our traditional rulers today. The Almighty God will bless you all and He will continue to prosper your kingdom. Thank you for coming to honor the Lord with us. Let's go very quickly to Isaiah chapter 60. I'm going to read from verse 1 to 2. Isaiah 60 from verse 1 to 2. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. I thought somebody would say amen to that. Yeah. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. He said, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. I think that passage was written for me. You know, God knows the end from the beginning. He knew that a time of darkness will come. And he says, when that time comes, somebody will arise and shine. Yeah. If you are that one, let me see you wave to him and shout hallelujah. Yeah. Arise means simply move up to a higher ground. Move to a higher level. Wherever you are, move higher. For example, to somebody who is dead, arise means come back to life. In Mark chapter 5, 
from verse 35 to 42, Mark 5, 35 to 42. When Jesus got to the house of Jairus, he said to that little girl who was dead, little girl, I say unto you, arise. And the girl came back to life. To somebody who is sleeping, arise means wake up, wake up. Because when you are asleep, the opportunities will pass you by. In Luke chapter 22, verse 46, Luke 22, verse 46, when the Lord Jesus Christ came to Peter, and James, and John, who were supposed to be praying, watching with him, and they were sleeping, he said, okay, arise. Let's go. Arise for someone who is on the ground, who means stand up. Uh, you can read that one in Mark chapter 14, from verse 33 to 42. Mark 14, 33 to 42. Get up. Arise could mean to somebody who is in bondage, be free. In Acts chapter 3, from verse 1 to 8, Acts chapter 3, 1 to 8, Peter said to the lame man, Silver and gold have I none, but what I have I give unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, arise and walk. Whatever level you are today, in the name that's above every other name, before the end of this month, you would have moved higher. <laughs> now, every word that you find in the Bible, like this word arise, could be a command, it could be an advice, it could be a plea or a prayer. And it could be a statement of determination. For example, when God speaks to man, when God says to a man, arise, it is a command. For example, in Mark chapter 2, from verse 1 to 12, Mark 2, 1 to 12, they brought a man who was sick of the palsy, he was paralyzed from neck downwards. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, young man, I say unto you, arise. Now, when God is the one saying to you, arise, when he's commanding you to arise, it is certain that he will supply what you need to obey. Because this man was paralyzed, and yet he was saying to him, Arise. But the moment he spoke, there is enough power in his word to make sure that that man who was carried in can get up and walk out. And so, on behalf of the Almighty God who has sent me, I am saying to every one of you here today, arise. <laughs> and everything you need to arise, we come through the word in Jesus' name. But when it is a man saying to God, arise, then you know it's a prayer. Because we can't command him, but we can appeal to him. We can call on him and say, arise. For example, in Psalm 68, from verse 1 to 3, Psalm 68, verse 1 to 3, he says, let God arise and his enemies will be scattered. Now, if you say you have no enemy, it can only mean one thing, that you are nothing. Even if you are a beggar by the roadside, begging, and then you suddenly hear that Jesus is passing by and you begin to cry to him for help. There will be people you never thought would be your enemy who will ask you to shut up. 
So defend no who will say, I have no enemy at all. Because if you are poor, you are an enemy to your relatives because you are a burden to them. If you are, if you are rich, Lord have mercy. If, you, if all you have is just a third hand bicycle, you don't need bodyguard. You don't need to build a wall around your house. But if God begins to prosper you and uh, Mercedes is going in, BMW is coming out. <laughs> you need protection. Protection not against your friend, but against your enemy. So every one of you who may think that there might be one little enemy anywhere near or far, known and unknown, I'm sure you will lift your voice to God today and say, Oh Lord, arise. <laughs> Now, if it is man speaking to man, it's an advice. If I say to you, arise, I can't command you. You can tell me, who are you to tell me to arise? But when I say, move on to higher level, it's because I, I wish you well. When a man says to another man, arise, he's simply saying to him, your present situation can be better. You can move to a higher level. For example, in 2 Kings chapter 7, from verse 1 to 11. 2 Kings chapter 7, from verse 1 to 11. He is saying, the Bible tells us that there were four lepers. They were by the gate. There was tremendous famine in the city. The people there were already eating their children. And so one leper said to the other, let us arise. If we sit down here, we will die. Let's take action. Let's move on. There might be something better on the way. And I'm advising every one of us here today, take the advice of a man of God. Arise. <laughs> because there is something better waiting for you. You see, by the time those lepers moved, by the time they took the advice, they discovered that they thought they were going to die. But that same day, not only were they well fed, not only were they well clothed, if we are to use modern terminology, that day they began to have fixed deposit. Because the Bible said when they got to the camp of the enemy after they ate and they were well dressed, they took money, they took clothes, and they went and hid it. And so if you will take my advice today, I can guarantee you in the name of the Almighty God that very, very soon you will have a testimony. So when God says, arise and shine, it is a command. It will supply what you need to shine. Because he said it there, arise and shine, for thy light is come. Where is the light coming from? From God. He said, because darkness may cover the world, but the light of the Almighty God will arise upon you. Now, but when God gives a command, it must be obeyed. When he says arise, he added, you are not just to arise, you are to shine. I believe the Almighty God is saying to someone specifically today, that when you arise, when the blessings begin to come, when those things that are tying you down are destroyed, when I supply everything you need so that you can become a light, don't hide the light. When the miracles that I know without any doubt that we follow this service of this morning begin to come. Don't fail to testify. 
don't fail to tell others this is the secret of my breakthrough. I came to Jesus. He told me to arise. I arose. And look at me now. In the name that's above every other name, even before the end of this week, somebody will sing a new song. happens if I am the one talking to myself? If I'm the one who will say to myself, Adiboye, arise. It can only mean one thing. I've made up my mind. I will suffer no more. I've made up of my mind that hmm, life can be better. I've made up, of my, made up my mind that I'm not going to stay where I am. I'm going higher still. Because, you see, it doesn't matter how great you think you are. If God opens your eyes and shows you where you can be, you'll be amazed. Oh, People who think they are very rich. Let me take it from that angle. And you have a Rolls Royce, the king of cars. And you're driving around. You think I've, I've arrived. Until you hear of a man who went for a stroll and saw a factory. And as factories go, they're always dirty. I said, what factory is that? They said, that's where they make Royce Royce. Ah, that's where they make my car? They said, yes. Ah, and it's as dirty as this? He said, let us branch. He branched there. He said he wanted to see the owner. He met the owner. I said, I want to buy your factory. <laughs> that one said, is something wrong with you? Do I look like somebody who is hungry if I'm the one making the factory? I mean, making the right side, do, do you think I want to say? He said, I will make you an offer you can't refuse. To cut a long story short, he went for a walk. Before he came back home, he has bought the factory where they make Royce Royce. So if you think you are great, let God open your eyes. You can be greater. Yeah. Look at it from the spiritual angle. I've seen people who jump up and down because God has used them to heal somebody with headache. Uh, until they meet somebody that God has used to raise somebody who had been dead for 11 days, then they will see that power passes power. It doesn't matter where you are today, you can be greater still. So when you talk to yourself, when you say, Adeboye, arise, you are telling him you can be better than this. For example, in Luke, in Matthew, sorry, in Luke chapter 15, Luke chapter 15, from verse 1 to 11. Luke 15, from verse 1 to 11. The Bible tells us the story of the prodigal son. He was a, a nice boy, was... Having a, I mean, he was in a very prosperous home. And one day, he just felt that I want to enjoy a little more. He took his uh, a portion of the father's property and went on a journey. Spent the money. It wasn't long before he discovered that if you are spending money and you are not making money, no matter how much the money is, it will finish. The money finished. Farming came. And then he found that he had to be feeding pigs. And they wouldn't even allow him to eat with the pigs. And the Bible said he came to himself. And said, oh, I will arise. And he arose. If you are tired of suffering, you must say to yourself today, I will arise. 
if you believe that God can still move you higher, you will say to yourself, I will arise. If you know anyone at all that either you started with, you went to school with or something, and the fellow is higher than you now, you will say, I will arise. And because let me tell you one thing, all the people we hear about all over the world, Bill Gates, this fellow, that fellow, mighty men, and so on. Their parents are human beings. Their fathers are not angels. Their mothers are not special. But somehow, something woke up in them one day, and they decided, I'm going to the top. How many of you want to reach the very top today? Uh, I believe you will reach there in Jesus' name. Let me close. The only one who can stop you from arising is God, not the devil. If all the enemies in your father's house, in your mother's house, in your town, in your villages, in your office, if they all gather together against you. <laughs> if God is on our side, who can be against us? And the only one who can lift you up from wherever you are and keep up promoting you, moving you from glory to glory, the only person who can do that is God. Because the Bible says, underneath are the everlasting arms. That means wherever you are now, his arm is under you. He can still keep on lifting you. If human beings promote you, human beings will bring you down. But if God is promoting you, your glory will be from glory to glory. That's why I want to give an advice. If you have not yet surrendered your life to the only one who can lift you up, do so today. If you have not yet surrendered your life to the only one who can say you are not going anywhere, and when he says you are not moving, you are not moving, surrender today. So if you have not yet given your life to Jesus Christ, the one who says, I hold the key of David, when I open, no man can shut, and when I shut, no man can open, Surrender to him today. It is wisdom to surrender to the only one who can promote you. And who also have the power to make sure you cannot move higher. So if you are here today and you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, may I invite you now to come and do so. I will count from one to ten. The choice is yours. If you want to stay where you are, in sin, living with the devil, you want to remain stagnant, the choice is yours. But if you want to move higher, accept his invitation. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and a heavy lady, and I will give you rest. So I'm counting now. If you want to give your life to Jesus, come very quickly. I'm counting one. Two. Oh, you may be the only one. Don't wait for anybody. This might be a service meant for you alone. Come and come very quickly. Three. He is the one who can promote. The Bible says he can pick up a beggar from the dumb hill and lift him up until he begins to dine with the kings. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, 
Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up if you are coming. Hurry up. Eight. Nine. Now, all those of you who are already in front, talk to the Almighty God. Ask Him to have mercy on you. Ask Him to save your soul. Talk to the Almighty. And the rest of us, let's stretch our hands towards them and pray for them that the one who saved our soul will save their souls also. Let's, let's talk to the Almighty God for them. Let's, let's, let's stretch to them. Let's... Let's stretch our hands toward them and intercede for them. Pray that the one who saved your soul will save their own souls also. Those of you in front, cry to God and ask him to be merciful unto you. Ask him to save your soul. Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. Savior we just want to thank you for your word Amen. accept our thanks in Jesus name Amen. we commit these people who have come forward to surrender their life to you into your hands have mercy on them Amen. save their souls Amen. forgive all their sins Amen. please receive them into the family of God Amen. let your blood wash away their sins and I pray that from now on, any time they call on you, you answer them by fire. Thank you, Almighty. And Lord, in a moment, your children will be crying unto you. As they call on you, answer them today. The power to become what you want them to become, please release to them today. And I pray that this day will be a day none of us will ever forget. Thank you, Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now, those of you in front, I rejoice with you, because from now on, by God's grace, I'll be praying for you. So I'm going to need your names, your address, and your prayer requests, and I promise you I'll be praying for you. So I want you to wait where you are for the moment, because... Every one of us want to pray now. How many of you believe God will answer you today? Ah, please, let's stand and shout a big hallelujah. <laughs> now we have prayed for everybody. It is time to pray for yourself. So you are going to forget anybody now. You are going to focus on yourself. You are going to lift your voice to the Almighty God and say, Father, Father. arise for me and defend me, and then help me to arise. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Arise for me, Lord. Arise for me, Almighty God. Defend me, and then cause me to arise. Cause me to arise.
thank you, Jesus. Arise for me, O oh Lord. Defend your interest in my life. Defend your interest in my family. Lord, arise. You are the helper of the helpless. Lord, arise. You are the helper of even the strong. Arise. Defend me. Defend my family. When you arise, all enemies scattered. When you arise, oh God, glory appears. When you arise, things will happen. Lord, let it be. Arise for me, oh God. Arise and defend your interest in my life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. It shall be so in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you this morning. We bless and praise your name. Thank you for the word of God that is undiluted, released into our life. We say thank you. We know in the word of God you have, there is salvation, there is healing, there is deliverance, there is liberty. There are blessings. Therefore, oh God, that which you have released through your word this morning will be permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. Arise for all of us and defend us in the name of Jesus Christ. All of us in the house and people are connected across the globe, across the world. Arise for all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. You are our helper and you are promised to help. Therefore, arise and help us in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for our choice, Daddy, that the G.O. that has preached unto us. Arise and defend your interest in his life in the name of Jesus. Arise and defend your interest in his family in the name of Jesus. In the life of our mommy, his wife, arise, arise and defend your interest. We pray, God of heaven, as we are using him, Oh God, for us, his strength will not be abated. Lord Almighty, the glory of God will never cease in his life. Everyone in the house today, whatsoever we brought into this house today, answer us instanta in the name of Jesus Christ. No one will go back with their challenges in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father. We worship your name. When all is said and done, let us make it here on earth and make it to heaven. We bless and praise you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And let someone say, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. For our brethren here, please, um, we want, please, let's have our seat. God bless you. For our brethren, look back. You see a pastor raising up his stick. Please kindly follow him. And they will take you to the place where we will show you a little of, of our hospitality. Let's clap our hands for Jesus as the people move. We can do better. We can do better. We can do better. We can do better. Let's clap our hands for Jesus. We can do better. Amen. We want to quickly recognize all the dignitaries in the house. Then we we'll take after the Titan offering, we will also we'll be able to take them to um, we'll be able to they will do their thanksgiving and take them to where uh, we we'll give them a little bit of our hospitality. Um, first on the list is Obade the paramount ruler of Eba land. Uh, God bless you, sir. Um, or Baba today, Akabi, Ogurumbi, Akin, Lowo, or Basasha Kingdom. God bless you. Or by Daniel, Awo Yemi, or Roger, Arakiri Eko Keji, only man of Mary Mara Kingdom. Or by Isaiah Sunday, only Fade, Aladdin One. Um, or by Samuel, Oyedele Akani. Or 
Olopete of Okpete, Oba Isaac, Olasuka Mio Yuale, Alasi of Asi, Oba Ezekiel Oyeusi, Osunto Ibo, Alas Ala Alasaba of Asaba, O Lori Olufunke Oyekale, O Lori Alasi of Asi, um, I Chief Oluyinka. Kafiele a row of a ballad. Oba Adetumbi Adetum Tumobida David. A Jisuipo Arakeji Jesa. Oba Jima Adewale Olawale Kol. O Lord Jola of Ojota Kingdom. Oba Joseph Okulola Uli. Uniba Yovibaye Lad. Is a Dr. John Uozu, is a Ndiwo of Mushi. I chief Amadi Ezewa, or as a Ndiwo of uh, land, mainland. I chief Paul Ure, Owu Ndiwo of Mushi, or Bate Sojika Ndi, or Ladepo JP, Zulu of Edunade, is a Dr. John. Uwozu, Ndibu of Mushi, Aichi Paul Ume, Ono Ndibu of Mushi. We also recognize the government's official here, Mrs. Agagu Bushola, Director Representative, Commissioner of Education, Mr. Owoduni Olushego, Deputy Director, Ministry of Education, Mrs. Akin Foluri, Assistant Director of Ministry of Education, Honorable Bolaji Cecilia Dada, Commissioner for Women's Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Lagos State. Mrs. Yetunde Badmos, Director representing Honorable Commissioner of uh, Home Affairs, Princess Adeyika AA, uh, Assistant Controller, Immigration Service, Ikoyi. Uh, please, let's clap our hands together for all this dignity. The Lord Almighty will bless you. Your blessing will be permanent. In the name of Jesus, amen. We are going to take our tithes and our offering uh, now. The box to my, right, to my left will be for the congregation. The box to my right will be for the tithe for the minister. And there will be eyes. I mean, there will be boxes on the eyes to give our offering. The, the, you have to, we give the offering to the box next to you. Please, the Bible said we should not come before him empty-handed. The box to my right for the tithe of the minister, to my left, the congregation. And if you are watching us online from all over the world and you love to give offering, kindly visit www.rccghq.org www.rccghq.org ghd.org and click on like give it and after we'll follow the instruction choir oh, please choir I never see any God like you I never see any God like you I never see any God like you I never see any God like you. I never see, I never see any God like you. King of kings and Lord of lords. I never see any God like you. Jehovah Shammah. I never see any God like you. 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 I never see. I never see any God like you. I never see any God like you. I never see any God like you. I never see any God like you.
we thank you. Thank you for giving us the privilege to come and give. Lord, we didn't bring anything to the world. Out of your excesses we are clothed. We thank you, O oh God, for giving us. And out of the many we have brought little. Lord, accept it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone who have given their tithes and they are, and, and they are cast from their labor, we ask that Money will meet money in your hand. Your life will not experience difficulties in the name of Jesus. Because you have given this, the rest will be utilized for the glory of God in your life in the name of Jesus. God of favor will favor your life. He will move you from the level you are to the level he wants you to be. You will not be put to shame. And every offering that we have given today, please accept it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And all the people who have given offering, both here and online, the Almighty God will bless you more than your imagination. Yeah. You will never lag. Yeah. You will never suffer hunger. Yeah. And because God has promised to bless, He will fulfill His blessing. He will fulfill His word. Yeah. And in life and destiny, you will hear, you will only hear of poverty, you will never know it. Yeah. Thank you because it is done. And in the kingdom to come, none of us will miss our reward. Jesus mighty name we pray. Jehovah Elohim Jehovah Adonai Jehovah Elohim Jehovah Amen. I will invite all our uh, KBAC. Uh, uh, when I was mentioning him, Oba Kim um, of Alaguda of uh, Aguda Ikeja. Um, Sunday, Oba Sunday, Onifa Day, Oba Aladi, Oba Di Alashe. I am going to invite all our royal highnesses uh, to come and do their Thanksgiving. So, uh, the choir, you sing a very solemn royal song. So why we invite all our royal fathers to come and do their special thanksgiving.
before we proceed. Go ahead. All our royal fathers. I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. I will never be, I will never be, I will never be ungrateful to you. Of kings and Lord of Lords. I will never be ungrateful to you. Jehovah El Shaddai is your name. I will never be ungrateful to you. I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. I will never be ungrateful to you. Ilo yeh Jesumi. Ilo yeh Jesumi. Ilo yeh Jesumi. Ilo yeh Jesumi. Amen. 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 Baba, Olorun anu ipo na baba gbe won soke ninu e bi omo re ti pa lase lohuro yi mo wi pe okoko kan loruko jesus igbe soke yo ma ba yin e o ni sateti bi ase ti n jade lenu yin loruko jesus baba yo ma fi agbara kun Owo agbara Olorun alaye ko ni tanu aye yin yo ma ba yin lo oye na mo yin lori ade na mo yin lori bata oni bo lese yin irukere a pe lowo yin ase a pe lenu oba be ni yo ri loruko baba loruko omo loruko emi mimo jesus Oluwa wa Eba mi yi Jesu Eba mi go Oluwa Eba mi yi Jesu Eba mi go Oluwa 